Center field. O'Donnell deep off the wall. Tucker scores. Solak scores. Cole Young hits a clutch two-run double that was the go-ahead winner. And also, the Mariners nearly pitched a no-hitter. You're about to find out more after a word from our sponsor, SeatGeek. SeatGeek is a mobile ticketing app for sporting events, concerts, and other events. They make the buying experience easier by the app ranking each ticket from 0 to 10 to see if you are getting a good deal, and you can see exactly where you are sitting. I regularly use that app, and I have had nothing but a fantastic experience with SeatGeek. Use my promo code ROOFTOPSPORTS to get $20 off of your first purchase. Link to the code, app, and website will be in the description, so take advantage, and thank you. So yes, the Mariners finally got it on the board. They finally won their first game of spring training, two to nothing, and it was a pretty fantastic performance, I must say. Other than the offense was quite like like lackluster until the very end, where Cole Young, and I'll explain later. Now, before we get started into this video, I am that close to getting 1,400 subscribers. Let's finally make it happen. Let's finally get me over the top of 1,400. So make that happen right now, and thanks for doing that. So let's get into it. So first, it started with Luis Castillo. It was his very first start of the spring training. He pitched absolutely fantastic. He pitched pretty much perfectly. He struck out one. He did walk one, but he pitched two innings of scoreless ball, and it went to Voth, Hembry, and Buttre, Crable, and Van Scooter, they, Van Scooter, Scotter was the one that had the save. And Van Scotter was actually the lights out guy. He had four strikeouts. Now, unfortunately, he did suffer the... So, it turns out that the Mariners actually had a no-hitter going. Going into the eighth inning, but unfortunately, Van Scotter did give up a hit. So, unfortunately... It ultimately became a one-hitter, but Van Scotter took care of business real fast, and he got the save along with four strikeouts, which is absolutely a pretty good performance. Now, hopefully this is something that maybe the bullpen does have this kind of depth. I know, once again, it's just that one game. You just take it one game at a time. But here's the thing. When you look at spring training, you're not necessarily looking at the result. You're looking at the performance of players. So, But either way, this is pretty encouraging. And then as for the hitting, the most standout performance today because the hitting of the offense wasn't great, it was Cole Young, who is the Mariners' shortstop prospect, who was the first-round pick of the 2022 MLB draft. He spent lots of time in Modesto. He spent some time in Modesto, a lot of time in Modesto, and then he moved up to A-plus Everett. And depending how he does in spring training, I do expect him to at least start at Everett A-plus or get into double a in arkansas he had a clutch two run double which was a was an amazing hit here was that hit center field o'donnell deep off the wall tucker scores solak scores and i expect great things from cole young in the future yes i mean i don't expect him to exactly be a called up to the major leagues immediately, but I do expect him to be somewhat any part of this team in the near future. But until then, if he's an Everett, go to the Everett Aqua Sox game and check him out. I've been to two of his games. He's a really fun player to watch. He's got really amazing speed, great fielding, and he's got he he really does work the count on on the pitchers as well. So definitely Check him out when you have the chance. Or if you're in Arizona, check him out right now because it looks like he's going to get quite a bit of playing time, which is why I'm really excited about this spring training. We'll get to see more Cole Young. We'll get to see more Harry Ford and Tyler Locklear. So definitely looking forward to that. But aside from all that, there really wasn't much to go over aside from the fact that the Mariners nearly got the no-hitter. And had they completed that, that would have been their first no-hitter in the spring training since 1984 when Mark Langston was the pitcher and he actually started that game. So I guess that game arguably got him the starting job for the 1984 season as that was his rookie year. But aside from that, again, not really much to say. Pretty good performance. Not so much on the offense, but it was more about the pitching. 
Well, that's going to be it. That's just going to be my quick analysis on this game. Make sure to hit the like button, subscribe, and hit that notification. And thanks for watching. And congratulations, you have made it to the end of this video. There are a couple other spring training games that I did go over, so check out those videos as well if you want to stay up to date. I will do the best as I possibly can to cover as many spring training games as possible. And once again, hit that like button, subscribe, and hit the notification. And thank you.